Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazarov chess channel and welcome to my basics in chess series. So in this series we see opening principles, middle game strategy and middle game planning and of course the end game strategy. And today I wanted to do something else. I wanted to connect all of these three stages in one in one video and this is now our first video uh, with this connection of the three stages of a chess game and the instructive game that I wanted to show you it was played by Shakria Mamejarov against uh, Varujan Akobian. And I really uh, think you need uh, you need to see this connection because you see sometimes you have troubles to understand when where when uh, am I in an end, end game when am I in a middle game when am I still in an opening so you see I wanted to, to show you this instructive games which really really uh, combined uh, create this very strong ideas in all of these three stages so. Uh, let's see now the game. I think it has uh, very, very um, good elements of a chess game. So here, uh, Shakria Mamejarov with the white pieces, and you see in this video that the top grandmasters, well, they uh, they play this simply healthy chess, as I always love to say, nothing special, nothing fancy. I think uh, you can understand the principles uh, through the whole game, and you see that uh, Shakria, Mam Shakria Mamejarov doesn't really play something complicated. I think it's. Uh, handleable for all of us. So here uh, d4, d5, uh, c4, uh, e6. I'm not gonna show you this uh, opening ideas. I just want to uh, uh, to uh, to show you the basic principles in all of these three stages. So knight on c3. Uh, now c5. And now we have uh, c takes uh, d4, e takes d, uh, d4. And uh, the first uh, thing that you have to know about, uh, of course, the openings are this opening uh, principle. So of course. Uh, here you see you have to first develop your bishops and knight, uh, then you have to castle and to t uh, somehow try to move your queen and connect the rook. So uh, let's see now how Shakti Mam Mamedjarov does it. Of course he placed uh, he plays first uh, the move knight on f3, here we have knight on uh, c6 and now g3. Of course with the preparation to develop the bishop, so we have here knight on f6, bishop on uh, g2, so you see nothing special, nothing fancy, uh, simply healthy chess, simply playing for the development, uh, bishop on e7 and now uh, we have here castling, uh, castling here by, by by uh, Akobian uh, Varujan and now uh, I wanted to really uh, stop here and let's now read the position. When we are reading our position you have to be aware of two things. So you see uh, you have to uh, watch uh, what kind of a center do we have here and what's the pawn structure in the center. So these two things you have to ask yourself all the time through the game and let's now evaluate here the center. Here we have uh, the central position, here I prepared it for you. You see uh, this move maybe C takes uh, c takes d5 doesn't bring so much for black because uh, after knight takes on, on d5 and knight takes on d5 queen takes on d5 well uh, black will continue the game with this isolated pawn situation so you see there are these common weaknesses in your opponent's position and i also want to to memorize it you see um there can be uh, many weaknesses in your opponent's camp, but uh, here I wanted to point you out this uh, weaknesses under the numbers 5 and 6. So the most common weaknesses in your opponent's position can be a weak pawn or a weak square. So you see uh, here uh, white already created this positional threat uh, to leave black with this isolated pawn. So here after bishop on g5, uh, you see black is forced to do something because he will have some tactics bishop takes on uh, bishop takes on f6 and deflect the bishop here from the defense of the c5 so here we can play d takes c5 and uh, gain a pawn so you see this is now already sort of a positional threat and uh, black has to react of course and uh, now he plays the move c4 and again uh, we want uh, now the center has uh, changed so you see we have sort of a transposition from a dynamic center which was really dynamic in the move before you see we had this uh, complex situation in, in the uh, in the position uh, here and uh, here after c4 we have now a different kind of center which is now the so-called static center now uh, the position has uh, changed really and now you have evaluate your position again so you see uh, 
now when we have the static center i've created also now this position you have to search squares you see again i want to point you out uh, what weaknesses can your opponent have and the most common as i said can be this uh, weak pawn or this weak square so now we want to search for weak squares and uh, in our know, opponent's position and here is of course the pawn e5 and maybe here the c5 meanwhile you see we have a weak square here on on our side half of the board it's the square e4 so we want to occupy really this e5 or the c5 square and gain some space let's see now how shakmi majarov does it uh he plays of course the move knight on e5 because it's possible you see uh, after knight takes on e5 we have d takes e5 and then uh the knight has to move and we have the possibility to take uh, the pawn on d5 so this it's really uh, i think nothing complex it's a really a nice idea so now oh, black played here bishop on s e6 and now shakri mamajarov plays knight takes on c6 we have here uh, b takes c6 and again i want to point you out here now we have another pawn structure and again we are searching for our opponent's weaknesses now you see uh, black has even more uh, weaknesses because now we have a weak squares here on c5 again and e5 and now we have also this weak pawn uh, weak pawn on c6 so we want to even um, create more weaknesses in our in our opponent's position so here shakri mamejarov plays the move b3 and you have to be familiar with this move of b3 while playing against, against the starash defense and i'm fa really familiar with this move because it was sort of a preparation uh, by me i played against uh, against uh, one one strong player and I had to prepare myself because i know uh, i knew uh, he's gonna play this uh, taras defense and uh, here i exactly played the same move order and managed to win game win the game very easily so see after queen on a5 now shakri mamejarov played uh, the move queen on d2 and i hope you realize when we watch uh, from our opening principles perspective uh, we have here uh, now finished really our development so here shakri mamejarov played all with all of his pieces uh, he has castled and he now has connected the rooks and uh, you see this queen on d2 move uh, pardon me Mm, it's really an important important one because there is this also one principle in chess uh, which says when the queen gets out it has to mean something you see shakrik mamejarov didn't play so far with this queen but now after the queen on d2 move he really uh, prevented uh, black to play the move uh, knight on e4 so you see after knight on e4 uh, we can of course take knight take knight on e4 and attack the queen which uh, because our queen will be defended by this knight and we can really uh, win a piece here so you see when you were playing with your queen in an opening you want really to uh, to do it with some with some impact we want to really to do it effectively so now the queen on d2 is a perfect uh, perfectly nice move and uh, you see now black has many many troubles here uh, here black tried bishop on b4 and uh, okay uh, now you have to watch for tactics here uh, bishop on f6 was played and uh, if you try something like a bishop on c3 then you get uh, queen on g5 and you can prevent here uh, white from checkmating so that's why g takes on f6 was played and now rook from f to c1 uh, now rook from a to d8 was played and now bish, uh, b takes c4 now we have d takes c4 and now i want to really now let's again evaluate the position let's see now black spawn structure here we have uh, black spawn structure it's really really weak you see all of these uh, pawns are really an object of uh, white's attack and we cr we have created now a perfect position here for white of course you have to play many many moves here but i hope you realize that this pawn structure by black is really not something uh, something good so here e3 was played fixing the position now black right c5 we have d5 we have bishop takes on c3 rook takes on c3 bishop takes on d5 bishop takes on d5 rook takes on d5 and now queen on c2 rook on b8 and now 
rook on c4 and uh, here I want to jump a couple of moves forward because many moves were played I just wanted to show you now this uh, transposition from middle game to, to end game here uh, in this position you see uh, Shakling Mamedjarov gained the pawn and uh, now we are really in an end game and uh, there is this also this principle which you which uh, in with which you have to be familiar in an end game and it's the um, uh, that's it's the principle that uh, your king has to be treated like a piece uh, so it's not something you have to defend you, in an end game you should really play with your with your uh, king so let's see now how, how Shakri Bamejarov does it um, he will play many many moves here with the king so here he played first the move uh, king on h6 uh, was played king on h2 queen on d6 now you see queen uh, king on h3 but that's all possible because you see you cannot get checkmated only by the queen here from black's perspective that's why you can really play actively with your king so uh, queen on c6 f3 queen on c3 g4 a takes g4 king takes on g4 queen on b2 uh, queen on f4 queen on g7 uh, queen on c7 king on g6 now h5 uh, king on h6 king on f5 queen on b5 you see king takes on f6 you see the king has now um, gained the pawn here because we we have played actively with our king and you see now we ha we are two pawns up and uh, it's of course a winning game for white so queen on g5 king on e6 uh, queen on e3 now uh, king on d7 king takes on h5 now f4 the queen is protecting here uh, both of the pawns and of course our main idea is to uh, create an attack with our king and take out the pawn on a6 so king on g4 king on c8 uh, queen on b3 queen on e5 queen on b4 king on c7 and i'm gonna again jump uh, forward here a little bit here after uh, king on a6 you see queen on a8 was played uh, king on b6 queen on b8 and now king on c6 we have uh, queen on c8 now uh, what uh, white's main idea is here to trade off the queens and of course uh, continue the game in a winning end game with these two pawns here we have queen on d7 king on c4 queen on a4 king on c3 queen on a1 king on b4 queen on b2 uh, king on a4 queen on a2 of course king on b5 queen on b3 king on c6 queen on a4 we have here a uh, king on c7 a uh, queen on f4 uh, queen on a uh, king on b7 queen on a uh, king queen on e4 king on a7 uh queen on e8 queen on d5 you have to be patient of course by playing such end games uh because uh, of course uh, your king is vulnerable to checks but uh, again i'm pointing you out you cannot be checkmated uh, only by the queen so you have to be patient queen on e7 king on b8 queen on e7 now king on c7 queen on e7 king on c8 queen on a7 and now f6 we start to push the pawn uh, we have king takes on f6 and now queen on d8 uh, in this position uh, black resigned because uh, of course we are not we can now push the pawn forward we can play uh, the uh, the queen on b6 and of course start to push it and there's no way uh, for for black to prevent it so i hope you realize this uh, this transposition from uh, openings then after that the middle game and then uh, until end game uh, it's i think it's not uh, really s uh, so complicated because shakri mamejarov play played really this main uh, main principles in chess and uh, and he managed to win against also a strong grandmaster uh, varuja nakobian and i think this game is really instructive and uh, in the continuation i'm gonna show you more of the, this kind of games which really have uh, the, uh, many of these main principles in chess but of course we are also continuing with our middle game strategy as a section and uh, and i hope you enjoyed this video so meanwhile you can watch my other uh, basics in chess videos and you can also watch my chess tactics if you want to have a better knowledge about uh, tactical motifs in chess and you can also subscribe to my channel thanks you for watching and chess is the best of course